So today we have a fairly, <laughs> fairly healthy selection of fresh fruit and vegetables, some big bags of rice, a whole heap of other staples including uh, noodles and cooking oil and sugar and tea and coffee and stuff like that, but also a lot of cleaning products like dishwashing liquid and clothes washing and stuff like that, toothpaste, soap so they can uh, keep hygienic. Eggs. What do you want us to do? So, once we get organised, we're going to get them to file through one by one. Flash the school. Dadong, Meme, Bapa, Ibu, semuanya. Perkenalkan, saya dari Bali Donet. Nama saya Vivi. Bersama semua tim di sini, bersama Bapa. Get the karma back. Uh, you already have. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's just beautiful to see the traditional housing methods, old fashioned thatched roofs, maybe bamboo and preserved so long term prosperity so even the kids of Bali can understand how their grandparents grew up. That's lovely. We have a big group photo now to show my village around the world 
what what you can achieve with a, a four hundred dollar GoPro and uh, and a lot of love. It's just beautiful. Look at these faces. And I've got to say, these people have been smiling just as much as these guys. So that's lovely. <laughs> Bali donate. Bali So this lady, she is single, uh, never married before. Uh, her age is 79. And then this is um, not her place, not her house. But... I want more. I just want to say to the people who dropped some adult diapers up, um, by chance we, we put them in the car today. She decided that she might need them, not for herself, but that lady um, has been wearing pampers for a while. She's unable to get out of bed and, and go to the toilet. It's amazing the things that make a big difference to someone's life, and for her to be able to buy that over here is almost impossible. So if, um, if you're coming over and you've got any special um, aids or needs or, or wheelchairs, push carts, you name it. Walking sticks, we need walking sticks again. Um, throw them in your luggage, throw them in your suitcase and um, and bring them up because I tell you what, we've, yeah, we get we get low on, on resources pretty quickly because there's so many people up here that need a hand. But it's just beautiful to be able to help someone have the equipment here when we come up to visit and, um, and set a smile on the face. So, a bit heartwarming. Oh, yeah, a bit difficult, but it's still happening.
one already passed away. I say you have a, uh, you are a great mom because you raising a very talented son, the one who the head of the village. <laughs> <laughs> How come your face is leaking? Shut up! <laughs> We're putting you on YouTube. Even we have a grumpy husband, <laughs> a fat husband. We are more lucky than everyone, okay? Yeah, I mean, yeah. We are. That's <laughs> what you did today. Oh, oh, God, God damn it. Just such a beautiful place. Walking through the rainforest, the jungle. There's banana trees everywhere, there's coconut trees. All sorts of, um, of food out here. That lady we just went and visited and, uh, and shared some, a little bit of Araha, some love with. She, um, all she wanted to do was give that food package to someone else. She says there's people that need it more than me. It's just beautiful, it's just so humble, so so caring, so respectful of everyone else. Put themselves last. Just so lovely. And refreshing. Just to see people that really do care about each other. This man lives with his, I think his daughter, um, who lives in the in the main compound. They they bring him out here so he can have a little bit more airflow mm. during the day. It's quite it's, little, it's quite nice under the trees here. Um, and they're not home at the moment, so what we're going to do is leave the mattress so that when they bring him inside, and this is the family compound where he normally sleeps and stays. That's where he, he stays in his bedroom up there. Very, very simple, very humble um, accommodations. But that's what's, um, that's how this poor man lives in his late 70s. So he's actually got a reasonable mattress there. What we decided we're gonna do is give him a new mattress for the outside bed. And they're a camp mattress, so they're a little bit waterproof and quite comfortable with the sonium pillow, give him a bit of dignity, but we're not gonna move him today because we don't know if he's got special needs or particular um, sore points or anything. It's really sad, but the family's doing the very best that they can do to give him a, a place to stay and um, and some comfort. So he spends the afternoon or his days out here with the chickens and, and the dogs under the trees. We've left the veggies and the sambaka and the rice for him to uh, for the family to see. Hello, Papa. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Full day, morning, no drink. Yeah, yeah. yeah you good, good instinct. 